good day students myself dr monica khetarpal i am dealing with the first paper classical mechanics of msc previous in our previous lecture we have discussed about the acceleration of rotating coordinate system so before starting my today's lecture i am going to tell you a brief review of what i taught you in my previous lecture we have taken that a particle p is situated at point p and we are observing this particle with respect to two frame of reference the one frame which is stationary is denoted by x y z and the another frame which is denoted by x dash y dash z dash this frame is moving now initially when time t is zero the origin of both the frames coincide the frame which is stationary the coordinates in it they are termed as space set of axes that is prime system unprime system this unprime system x y z in this case the position of point point p denoted by r it is termed as space set of axis and its position in prime set that means the reference frame which is rotating in this case the coordinates are termed as body set of axis now in our previous lecture we have derived the relation between the acceleration of the point p in rotating frame and the frame which is stationary here a denotes the acceleration of the particle in unprimed system that means the particle is the frame in which we have assumed that the frame is stationary on the right hand side the first term which is a prime it is the acceleration in a frame which is rotating the second term which is 2 omega cross d prime r by dt this term denotes the coriolis acceleration and the third term which is omega cross omega cross r it is termed as centripetal acceleration and the last term which has a factor d omega by dt cross r it is the it denotes the angular acceleration in the prime system of coordinate here we have taken that omega is not constant now we are going to find the force so according to the newton law we have force in an unprimed system as f equal to ma this is my force so my expression of acceleration can be expressed as m d2 prime r by dt square this i have substituted the value of a prime plus the factor m omega cross omega cross r plus 2m omega cross d prime r upon dt plus m d omega upon dt cross r this is the force which is denoted by capital f now this force can be expressed in the form where we can substitute m d2 prime r upon dt square that is the force in which i have taken in primed system let it be expressed as f effective 
and d prime r upon dt in this term let it be v dash so making these changes my expression can be expressed in a form since this is f f effective this equal f minus 2m omega this we have taken as v prime minus m omega cross omega cross r minus m d omega upon dt cross r so we can say that in a rotating frame it appears that particle is moving under the influence of a force which is denoted here by f effective here the term this is coriolis force and it has a form 2m omega cross v dash and this coriolis force it is perpendicular to the plane which contains omega and v dash if we consider a situation in which we assume that the particle is fixed that means v dash is zero so if we have v dash to be zero then coriolis force will be zero now taking an another situation in which if we assume that our frame which is rotating it has a constant angular velocity that means omega is constant so choosing omega to be constant we can have the last term which contains d omega by dt to be zero this is the situation when the frame is rotating with a constant angular velocity so taking this situation of constant angular velocity my acceleration in a rotating frame that means prime system can be expressed in the form here a prime since we are changing the force to acceleration we have to divide this expression by mass so the right hand side will become f by m minus omega cross omega cross r minus 2 omega cross v dash now since we have a force f which is due to earth attraction only so we can combine the two terms this is the force which is due to gravitational force and this is also the force which is exerted on the earth that is the centrifugal force now since these two terms they do not have any mechanical interference on each other so we are coupling these two terms and expressing them as f by m this is the f is the gravitational force so f by m will be equal to acceleration due to gravity that means f by m is g minus omega cross omega cross r these two terms can be expressed as ge ge couples these two terms that is gravitational force term and the acceleration which is arising because of centrifugal force so we can have mge to be equal to mg minus omega cross omega cross r here we have shown the effect of the uh, the the direction of g and omega cross omega cross r and the resultant direction of the acceleration which we have denoted by ge now we uh, this term which is a centrifugal force term m omega cross omega cross r this term is a vector quantity and this term is a normal to omega 
its magnitude we can see from here it will have a magnitude m omega square r sin theta when theta is 90 sin theta will be 1 hence the maximum value of centrifugal force it has a value of m omega square r and the maximum value of omega square r that means acceleration it occurs at equator at equator theta is 90 degree and the maximum value of omega square r at equator is 3.38 cm per second square and on comparing with acceleration due to gravity that is g we can see that it is about 0.3% of g that means very much less so its effect is very much small that means we have omega cross omega cross r to be very much less than g hence the direction of ge can be approximately to be taken along the direction of g since the direction of this factor which is arising because of centrifugal force that means omega cross omega cross r this factor its direction is almost negligible so we can express our resultant acceleration in the prime set of coordinate a prime as here we have coupled the terms these two terms are coupled as ge minus 2 omega cross v dash so this expression denotes the resultant acceleration in rotating set of coordinate it has a factor which arises because of gravitational force and centrifugal force these both are coupled in the term ge and the another term omega cross 2 omega cross v dash which arises because of coriolis acceleration so we can say that if a particle is seen from two frames of reference one which is stationary and from the other which is rotating then acceleration of the particle is not same in both the frames here we have derived the relation between the acceleration of the particle in these two frame of references thank you students for watching